The date was April 26, 2552. I was watching over that shitty fox farm base again. So picture this, a 72 hour shift in the ugliest, most rundown military base the UNSC has to offer in Kenya. We are forced to keep our armor on for safety reasons, and we aren't allowed to sleep at all for the shift. We take pills that keep us away for extended periods of time. And when I say extended, I mean brutally long. It starts to sweat so much that you wish you were cold blooded, like one of those lizards out in the desert. Insomnia chips away at your brain every hour that passes. Needless to say, I was bored and losing my mind. But at the end of the day, I was always able to remind myself that this is necessary for the survival of our planet. And that's what keeps me going. You see, the Covenant have left us with the short end of a stick. We are desperate, taking any means necessary to ensure our survival. So I was checking up on the base's vehicles when... The AI speaker system immediately informed me of a red alert. I, alone in this garbage dump, was under attack by an unknown threat coming from an unknown direction. Wonderful. So I did what any ordinary soldier would do in that situation, which was get the hell out of there. Which happened to be a convenience for me, considering I was working on the mongooses. Now at that time, I didn't think much of it because I was the only one there. I didn't have to worry about saving anybody, or fighting off any enemies, because code red means one thing, and that was to evacuate. I can't lie, however, I began to become a bit shaken now that I heard multiple explosions around me. It was as if the foundation of the base itself was going to collapse. I had one thing and one thing only in mind. It was to get my ass to the LZ as fast as possible, and just grab that last pelican. This way, I can take off and not even have to look back. The condition of the Foxtrot base was so unbearable, however, this place was a mess. It looked as if nobody had been there to manage it for months, maybe even years. This made my escape rather difficult, to say the least. So now my anxiety is through the roof as I try to find my way through this crooked maze. I was disgusted with the previous base manager for putting my life in potential harm, all because of the giant mess they left behind. I swore to myself. If I got out of there alive, I was going to give them shit. I almost lost my way multiple times until I finally found it, the door to the LZ. This was my one and only chance to make it out alive. I waited for what felt like the longest five seconds of my life, as that giant slow green door took its precious time. And then when it was done, there, standing right outside on the platform waiting for me, was my one and only chance I had for survival. It was that lone pelican. It turns out choosing that escape road, however, was the most fatal mistake I've ever made in my life.